educating them in a better way, training so they won't go astray. Hear what they said, yeah. Give your head to clear and thinking. Now your heart got to be persevering. Hi, thanks for joining us again. Now today we are going to be looking at wrap sandwiches. Wrap sandwiches are one of the specialty sandwiches and it can be very interesting and nutritious. So we are going to be also inviting you to start your own gardens and from your gardens you can take various vegetables to add to your sandwiches. So your lettuce, your carrots, your tomatoes etc can also go towards making interesting sandwiches for yourself and your family. So we're going to start off with our filling as usual. And remember from our previous series, we cream our cheese, we create our creamed cheese, and to that we add interesting preserves. So we've added sorrel chutney, breadfruit spread. You can also add your jams if you wish. Now we're going to be using our breadfruit spread and that will be part of the, the filling for the wrap sandwiches. Now we're also going to prepare our bread we're using whole wheat bread. And to prepare the bread, we're going to roll. Rolling pin, cutting board. Need to flatten so that it allows for wrapping. Now we try to use fresher breads when we roll, it's softer and more manageable and gives flexibility for rolling. So now we have rolled, we're going to use a large cutter, round or circular cutter. And this is our circular shape that we have. Now having this, we're going to apply some margarine. Now, we're going to be looking at the filling and outside of our cheese filling, we're going to add vegetables again. So our carrots, we have kale, we have red cabbage, sweet pepper, and we have our creamed cheese. Now what we're going to do is apply just like a little bit. A small amount, small amount to the bread. Then we're going to add some shredded carrots, vitamin E, vitamin C, rich in these things. Then we're going to add some kale or lettuce, whatever is available to you. And we are adding some red cabbage and yellow sweet pepper. Now we are 
we're just going to pull around, pull back just to tighten the wrap. And we roll. And that is it. Now, sometimes it's good to put this in the refrigerator just to set for a little bit so that the margarine can give you a better closure so you can wrap this in some clean wrap or plastic wrap and rest in the refrigerator for a few minutes So we took this from the refrigerator and we're just going to cut so we can turn and try and find a halfway mark and cut. Now you notice you'll see the colors coming out even on the other ends, green, orange, yellow and the purple colors. So we're going to plate these. And this is your finished wrap. Very interesting, easy to make, nutritious. And of course, you can always pull things from your backyard garden to make it more nutritious and tasty. <laughs>